adding gradients to text or how to make something very very simple something ridiculously complicated so let's assume that I want to add some gradients to this text this um, circle of text I have around my toilet brush here and you can't just come down here to the fill and change it it's unfortunately just not that easy so a couple things I'm going to do first is that um, up here in the top I'm on essentials that's your default essential tools since I'm working with text I'm going to switch to typography which changes up my menus and stuff over here now the first thing we'll have to do is we actually have to create a gradient and then put it in our swatches I know ridiculous but that's the way it works I've got a couple in here but I'm going to show you how to make one so I'm going to come over here to the left side and I'm going to double click on my gradient tool now by the way before you do any of this stuff make sure that nothing is selected or you will unfortunately start adding gradients to things you didn't realize so I'm going to take my select tool and I'm just gonna click outside of my image just so I don't have anything okay safe enough so double click the gradient tool my little gradient editor pops up so what I can do is I can double click down here on the slider and you see I've already set one up um, I can basically double click a uh, point here and add a color to it so I'll make something absolutely horrible kinda like this um, and then we'll show up so I'll take a yellow which I already have and I will change this middle one um, by the way if I drag that away it'll go away or if I click one in there it will add a new one alright so let's make this one uh, hot pink and uh, we'll make this one lime green you know lovely okay so now I have a gradient set up and I come up here to where my gradient is and I click and drag this over into my swatches and now it adds it in there by the way you need to set up whether it's going to be linear or radial first just so you know it will only come up one you can't change it right now okay so once I have my gradient set up I'm going to come down here to my layer that has my text you can see this there's the ring of text I'm going to select it just for the record you must have something in your fill and your stroke already you don't want these to be empty you don't want these set on nothing okay so I'm going to just come back and default that now what I'm going to do is I need to change the appearance I know ridiculous but this is the way it works so I have the selected I have my stuff there I go to appearance and you can see where it says type here at the top I need to change the appearance of my type so I click type and here is my add new fill button I click this my, it changes it to black do not panic I'm going to click on where it says black and then I'm going to change this to my color and voila there is my gradient in my text by the way if I want to I can change the stroke here and my type at the same time so I'll click on this and make it something um, let's see equally horrible here let's here let's put some purple on this because that's not going to clash um, actually that won't show up here I'll show white so you can actually see it and I can actually change the points of that as well so I can go larger. Whoa, way, way too big. All right, and there you go. That's pretty much it.